Before we get into scary stories, I want to talk about the Walk of Fame ceremony. Watching you with your star waving the Mexican flag, I mean, what, what did that moment feel like for you? It felt very uh, much uh, like a moment in which what I felt going to the stars of people I admired in, in storytelling, you know, uh, weird people mostly, or uh, people that came from my country, it inspired me and I was hoping to leave a little, little bit of that there. Lana Del Rey was there to present to you, and I know you guys collaborated on this film, she had a song, but how did you guys become besties? Well, I, I, uh, I've admired her work for a while, and because she, she has a very uh, unique uh, quality to evoke images with her songs and her voice and her music. And uh, I, when, uh, when we thought about somebody covering Season of the Witch, I immediately said, I know, I know the person that should and would, because she loves Donovan and she loves that era of music, you know? And it's such a great song. Must be the season of the witch. She has a new album coming out. Would you ever yes. like direct one of her music videos? I would. Yeah. Yes, I would. I mean, I'm terrible at those assignments. I've never done commercials or videos because I take so long. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the fastest I've shot a uh, movie is uh, 20, 20 days. That's the fastest. I, I don't know if I would survive or she would want me. Right, because music videos, they just want like a few days, A couple days, of days, right? yeah. Now, you guys met how all great partnerships met. I read Twitter.com, right? Yes. Yeah, how did you guys meet? <laughs> I DM uh, Andre. Yeah. I, I was tweeting about his you movie. You slid into the DMs. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, no, he, uh, you know, he followed me, so I followed him. And I could DM him. And I, 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 I was tweeting about uh, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, which is a movie he directed that I loved. It's so scary, but so elegant. And, and I thought, this is a guy, I mean, and Troll Hunter, his previous movie, was so unique and so brilliant. So I wanted to, to be pals with the guy, you know? <laughs> well, a lot of people grew up with scary stories to tell in the dark, the, the books. How did you pick which stories you wanted to use in the movie? I mean, obviously that was your process with the writers, but I mean, it's all... Uh, uh... We did an American Idol. Yeah. <laughs> we, we sort of went, who, who likes which one? And we came back to nine or ten of the stories everybody wanted to see. And then we said, which ones suit the characters? The sort of prom queen can get the red spot. The guy that is very picky eater can get the big toe, and so on and so forth, you know? There's so many more stories that weren't explored, and it kind of feels like there's room for more, or like, what would you guys like to see next? Would there be more movies, sequels, or maybe like a TV show? If the, if the movie connects, I think we, we agree that we would like to collaborate again. Yeah. And, and there is, there's over a hundred stories left in the books. So absolutely. You guys are a fan of each other's, but what about your collaboration do you think made it work so well? Well, I admire him sincerely and respect him sincerely. And for me, that's producing. I've been a fan of Guillermo since, film, since I went to film school. So it's been uh, amazing to be able to learn from him through the process of honing in this film, which has been a masterclass for me yeah. for a year now. Yeah. What's your favorite Guillermo film? I mean, honestly, it's Shape of Water. I mean, I think that is the, the culmination of all the things that he loves in his movies. That That's is my just... favorite, too. People are very attached to your Shape of Water, but also your comic book movies, and I feel like every time oh, yeah. people talk about comic book movies, your name comes up on the list of, like, dream directors. Yeah. What, is that something you would want to do again, another comic book movie? I don't think so. I wanted to do Justice uh, League Dark. At, uh, That's at right. DC, very, very, very much, but it didn't happen. But other, other than that, I, when I was doing the Hellboy uh, movies or Blade, you know, they were counter to what everything being, was being done. And so it was fun to break the rules there, you know, and I tried not to do them the way they would have been done by anyone else. I think that uh, Justice League Dark it was attractive because of that, because they're all monsters. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I was never a superhero guy. I like monsters. Yeah. What, what happened with Justice League Dark? Oh, you have an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I have two minutes. Yes. <laughs> Long story. Okay. I also think that people are always going to wonder what the ending of the Hellboy trilogy would have been. Do oh, that, that if, if you ever see me over somewhere and we have time and have a cup of coffee, you just tell people? I'll tell you the story. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think that, like, mass audiences will ever 
No, no, that's, that's I mean, uh, both Ron and I are now past it. You know? yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. But you're also doing, a lot of people are talking about Nightmare Alley right now because that yes. cast is insane. Um, very exciting, but also Pinocchio. Yes. That seems like one, because you said you like to do things that are like kind of counterculture. Yeah. A lot of people know that story. What, is, what about this Pinocchio is oh, believe me, del this, Toro'd? <laughs> this is, <laughs> somebody said, oh, there's another Pinocchio and there's another one. And I said, no, no, no Pinocchio will be yeah. like this one. Is it animated? It's a stop motion, yeah. It's basically uh, a very, very personal movie. It's, it's um, a reflection about what it is to be human, you know? Yeah. And it has some elements that come directly from the book and some others that have never been in the book or the story. But I think it's essential to, to Pinocchio to understand, like Frankenstein, what the world is about. Right. You know? yeah. Cool.